Hi everyone, it's your AP Bio teacher, Mr. Poser here. Today we are getting into topic 4.4, which is changes in signal transduction pathways. So we are continuing our fourth unit on the cell communication and cell cycle, and this will be a video that is really gonna be, again, focused on cellular communication. Because in the last videos we have talked about the ways, uh, the different ways cells communicate with each other, whether it's paracrine, autocrine, endocrine, that kind of thing, synaptic. Uh, we talked about receptors and sligands and signal transduction pathways, and we got into how uh, signal transduction pathways can cause different cellular responses as well. And we got into one particular pathway in more detail, which was the epinephrine pathway. It involves a GPCR or G protein coupled receptor. Uh, but today, what we're going to get into is what can happen when there's some kind of adjustment or some kind of alteration or change in a signal transduction pathway. Um, so changes in reception and transduction can alter the response that a cell makes, right? So if we break down, once again, our three main stages of cell signaling, if we cause a change in the reception of a ligand or we cause a change in what happens after the ligand binds to the receptor and uh, the passage of a signal from one protein to the next to cause a response in the cell, um, then we can get a different response than what was originally intended or maybe a different response or we can maybe even amplify a response more than intended um, based on mutations and different chemicals altering function, functions of proteins. So mutations, even though we haven't talked about these quite yet in detail, it's a um, accidental change in uh, the genome that would cause a misfolding or a some kind of mistake um, in a protein. And as we've been discovering here, receptors are proteins, kinases are proteins, phosphorylases are proteins, um, and a change in a protein like that can cause a big deal, and it can cause like the protein to not have any function at all. So that can cause a, ch a huge change. And also different chemicals, um, whether we're talking about like different neurotransmitters or if we're talking about toxins or poisons or anything like that, um, those can also alter the functions of proteins and cause big changes in a signal transduction pathway. All right, so uh, as far as mutations go, mutations in receptors, kinases, or phosphatases, I said phosphorylases, phosphatases can amplify one cellular response and inhibit another. Um, so I'm not even really sure what this signal transduction pathway is all about. We've got lots of different pathways um, in our little cell over here. But the point I'm trying to make here is that if we mess up a receptor, Okay, then the rest of that signal transduction pathway might not happen. Or if we mess up a one of the proteins like MAPK here, um, which, is a, which is a kinase, again, a protein, it can mess up the whole signal transduction pathway. So mutations, um, and there's lots of conditions that result from a mutation that alters a signal transduction pathway um, within cells. In fact, that's like really what mutations do. Um, or well, many mutations do that cause diseases. They mess up a signal transduction pathway. Um, and here's another thing. Uh, there's, a, there's a protein down here. It's called P53. Um, alterations in P53, um, if you follow the line that's coming over here, um, it can prevent a cell from undergoing apoptosis, which is basically dying um, when it's being told to die by like another cell. Um, so we call that program cell death and it alters cell proliferation as well. Um, so alterations in P53, this particular protein in a mutation in P53 can lead to cancer, um, which is a topic that we're gonna be discussing more later on in this unit. Um, chemicals as well, say like certain toxins or um, poisons, um, different amounts of any kind of medicine really um, can inhibit or enhance a particular signal transduction pathway. Um, so not only can mutations mess up the functions of these proteins, but other chemicals can as well. Um, and that's really the point that we're trying to make here. Uh, and what I'm ending with, because, you know, this is a, yeah, this is a pretty short video or a pretty short topic here, um, is take a look at all these different kind of toxins that can mess up um, different receptors, okay, or different channel proteins. See, we got ion channels over here, um, dendro, dendrodotoxins. Um, can mess up these ion channels. The lipid bilayer can be messed up by certain toxins and certain compounds produced by bacteria. Um, so this whole chart 
is showing us different kind of toxins that can mess up um, various parts of the cell. Um, and this really has to do with, you know, messing up a particular protein in a signal transduction pathway and not being able to cause the right cellular response. All right, um, that's it for this video. There's so many examples. You can just look up examples of different toxins and chemicals and medicines and what they do. It's all complicated, but you can, you can look it up. Um, but what we're trying to get here is that mutations and different chemicals can cause alterations in a signal transduction pathway and thus alter the response that a cell produces. All right, let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.